right, I was looking at this model in Cuba. I've had a problem with these standoffs. So these are for PCB, printed circuit board for the LCD12864 to go into, and three millimeter balls going there. These have a bit of a chamfer sort of to help the balls go in. But that isn't the problem. The problem is, I'll show you, let's go on to layers. The problem is that on 20% infill here, see down here, it's almost hollow inside. Now, okay, well, one argument is to increase shell thickness. Now notice the times on here. Five hours, 28 minutes, that's at 0.8, point 0.2. I'm going to keep that the same anyway, but she's um, just going to change this for now. I'm going to do something pretty high, 3.2. I'm going to pause here because this takes a bit of time and cover to get sorted out. Right, so now I've got set to 3.2 and you can see that most of it is filled in here. Look at the time, okay, 7 hours, 26 minutes. This is on 20% infill. Now this is the argument, it's 20% infill. So let's change this to 100%. Now again, I'm going to pause here because COVID takes a bit of time to process this. And here you are, 3.2 shell thickness. That's a multiple of 0.4, by the way, of my nozzle. 100% uh, infill, 7 hours 48 minutes. Okay, now you might think, okay, let's knock down the shell thickness. 0.8, oops, oh, 0.8. So now, the shell thickness is 0.8, we got 100%, 7 hours, 49 minutes. Well, if you remember, 3.2, 7 hours, 48 minutes at 100%. All right, it's only minutes. Well, that's on the times. Well, I don't know. You see here that well it's pretty well in filled there. So I was trying to decide which was the best option, whether to do hundred percent or increase the shell thickness actually. 